Okay, uh, this is a brief commentary on uh, proxy violence in our community. And, you know, as a preface for this uh, commentary, you know, for what I'm going to say, uh, well, I'll present their recent, you know, criminal incident where a 14-year-old girl was found to have masterminded a attempted hit on someone's life. The only reason the kid that was targeted is still alive is because the weapon jammed, okay? So I guess he can count his lucky stars that, you know, there was no equipment check before the hit was almost carried out by a kid that was in his age group. Uh, these kids are like around 14, 15 or so. And one kid is uh, still at large and uh, there's been a reward of like a $12,500 or so offered for information leading up to his arrest or his outright arrest. You know, this is up near the Maryland area, you know, over near Maryland. So yeah, um, they, the boy that's on, you know, the boy that's on the lam, you know, the actual shooter, you know, they showed his face, all right? His face is plastered all over the news media and shit. Fox 32, of course, you know, Fox News is, you know, the propaganda channel. They they, they continuously produce these uh, hit pieces on the black community. I don't care that it, this shit is actually happening. But, um, yeah, this kid, they, they've showed his face and they've showed, I think, his accomplice or one of them because there's four. So I think I've seen two out of the four. But the girl remains uh, hidden behind, uh, you know, age shield. You know, they won't show her because she's a minor. She's 14, but she she masterminded an attempted hit. Okay, an attempted hit that almost went off without a, you know, without a hitch as far as execution goes or whatnot. So I feel like that they should show her face and say her name, right? Because she's doing shit like this. I think that precludes her age from being a factor, okay? I think she should be treated like an adult. I think we should know who she is. I think the public should know who she is. And I ain't gonna even lie. I went and tried to look her up online and shit and I couldn't find a bitch. Because I was going to post her fucking picture. I'm not even going to lie. I was going to post her fucking picture. Because we, we need to see these monsters, okay? I don't care how old she is. She's she's planning a hit on somebody. All right? I do this because I recall growing up and, you know, a lot of times uh, some of the violence attributed to my childhood was uh, accomplished with uh, proxy violence. It was some girl. There's always some girl. I'm going to get my cousin. I'm going to get this person. I got into the habit after a while when someone started to say, I'm going to go get, before they could tell me who they was going to go get, my fist was already in their fucking mouth and shit. But mostly with these women, they're like uh, Teflon Dons and shit down here in the slave quarters with this proxy violence shit. And I think that, you know, more street justice is probably, you know, the order of the day because they're just, a, you know, I feel in 2023, there's a pervasive sense of lawlessness and, and, and directionless in our community and shit. All right. Now, right now I have it the south side of Chicago, you know, for clarity. And I'm just tired of criminal minded uh, youth and children and shit. And I'm not talking about that bullshit flash mob crap that Fox News keeps, you know, plastering everywhere without with failing to mention that other ethnicities are involved in those illicit activities as well. Because we all know if they were just all black kids doing that shit, uh, the cops would mop them up, all right? They don't want to get any collateral damage, so they're just standing, standing, you know, standing back, I guess, you know, because, you know, they need to get their narrative out there, you know, we're the Klingons, all right? As far as this shit goes with this girl, I think she should, I, I, if I find out who she is, I'm posting her fucking picture, I'm posting her mugshot, if I, if I happen to cross it. All right, there's too much of this shit, okay? There's, I'm tired of these goddamn women uh, throwing rocks and hiding their hands. The, the uh, criminal justice system of this country, if you can call it that, is uh, really heavily skewed towards women and shit, okay? And they can do almost most shit with impunity. All they have to do is claim victim status and shit. Maybe this girl did that as well. Who knows? We don't know why she was putting a hit on nobody. In our community, the... You usually, when you hear about some shit like this, I would say, well, what did the guy do to make her do that? He didn't do shit. He was fucking breathing. She's a criminal-minded person. She's a criminal. And if he knew that she was going to do something like that, he should have taken the initiative to uh, protect himself. You know, the minute that shit come out of her mouth, I consider that like someone pointing a gun, you know, 
I think you kings should consider that. When you hear some female talking about that, or if you hear them ever tell any stories about getting their cousin on somebody or their dad or their uncle or something, that chick should be person non grata, okay? You need to kick that shit to the curb. The minute you hear any stories or know of any kind of proxy violence that they enacted, they should be off the grid, unfuckable, whatever the hell you want to call it and shit, okay? Because your safety is tantamount. How many times we got to tell you to keep your fucking head on the swivel around here, okay? Because it's dangerous out there. You got people like this this unseen 14-year-old uh, woman, okay? Then I will say, I will call her a 14-year-old woman. That's what they call them boys that was uh, about to carry out their hit. You know, some of you bitches is going to call them simps and everything, but they're victims. Okay? We're trained to serve. All right? From the moment we're born, that shit hasn't changed in 50 fucking years, for what I can see. You always change, trained to listen to them, you know, explicitly and shit, whether you like it or not, shit. Okay? Nothing doesn't seem to be changing. So it's up to us men, you know, it's people that, you know, have taken a certain pill or adhere to a certain ideology of belief, you know, self-preservation, you know, belief, you know, SYSBM, you know, it's up to you to like pass that knowledge on to these youngsters, man. Okay. If they, it's up to them if they want to take this shit, I can simply call it living the common sense lifestyle and shit. Don't fuck with nobody that's dangerous and criminal minded. I don't care what her ass looks like. Okay? I don't care what kind of game she got, or what kind of, whatever she's rolling out, what her deal is, what her gimmick is. Okay? Everybody's got a gimmick these days. All right? This is a shame. You know, when, when you do something fucked up, they're going to hold you fully accountable, like 300%. When she does something shitty, she gets, uh, you know, she gets coverage from the minority majority. You know, they just take the collateral damage and they run with that shit. And they class their male faces all over the situation and shit and demonize us even further and shit. So I don't think it's further. I don't think it's fair. Okay? I don't think it's fucking fair. Not if I find this bitch picture, I will post it. Okay? I'll post it. Trust me. Anybody knows who who, did, who she is or anything, but let me know. I'm going to replace the silhouette on screen with her fucking face. SYSBM equals save yourself like man.